Good afternoon everyone, this is Chaitali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe at IRSC 2023. ADU is media partners to this special event and today I'm sitting with Mr. Sami Kotwani, who is the President of Indian Business Alliance. But, but, here audience, he, this is not the only portfolio he holds. There's many more things that he does and we will hear it from the horse's mouth. Uh, thank you for my introduction. I'm also the President of Overseas Friends BJP Russia. I'm the President of Indian National Cultural Center SITA, where we hold all the Indian culture events. And I'm also the president of uh, Overseas Friends BGP. Uh, not to forget, I'm also the friends of Friends Russophil, Friends of Russia. I'm the head of the Indian chapter. So, audience, you and must have my heard. Tailoring, my, not to forget, I'm a, uh, I'm the owner and for the Imperial Tearing Company Russia. And that is really special. I'm sure uh, Mr. Kotwani is going to tell us more about. Uh, with his tailoring profession, what is very special about it? Um, I went to Russia 32 years back with $300 and today I hold one of the most beautiful and the top 10 living tailors. We are ranked number 7. We dress who of, who of this country as well as India, as well as Russia. So when we talk about who's who of Russia, can we name a few, sir? Yeah, <laughs> starting from the Foreign Minister Lavrov, to the Rostec Big Boss, Sergei Chemizov, uh, Prime Minister of Russia, and many more. Uh, you, you name it, they all... I knew it, but uh, I wanted you to say to our audience this thing. all addressed by me. So, 32 years in Russia. Great, sir. So, with this kind of portfolio you hold, what exactly Mr. Kotwani is doing at India-Russia Defense, uh, India-Russia Space Dialogue? See, uh, your role here in this event today, sir? I'm, I'm, I'm the face of Russia now when it comes to Indian business. Uh, I came for the same period of uh, 28th and 29th of this month, 30th. We had a full delegation from St. Petersburg Economic Forum where we came to tell about this forum and wanted to invite the Indians. So I got an invitation for Chief Minister of Eknath Shinde of Maharashtra as well as the Chief Minister of uh, Andhra Pradesh. The whole reason was uh, my interest is if India, if Russians think about investment, they should think only one destination that is India. And uh, Russian pharma is very weak, so we uh, we are hoping with the support of uh, Andhra Pradesh, they can really come up faster. Right, sir. Um, the space policies have developed in India, where we have the new players, we have the startup players here. Uh, what do you think about Russia, since we talk about business, you are talking about business here. What about the space business that Russia can have with India? See, uh, space is a very vast uh, thing. It's not a small thing, it's a very, very vast thing. Uh, when you talk about space, Russia has the knowledge and the know-how. And they are the most first and the most successful players. And being we the most oldest partners, strategic partners, friends, we can really get a lot of benefit from each other. Uh, the future of space is going to be India. So if we catch hold of Russians, I think we will we'll reach the, our destiny much more faster. Anyway, we are going to reach to the top. Yeah. But uh, if we are having a friendly relation and we use the know-how, I think we will be doing it much more faster. When you say we catch hold of Russia, we are already holding them. There are a lot of sectors that India and Russia are collaborating, including defense. Now, um, is the policies, the, po that, uh, the open policies that we have in India, the policies are not so open in Russia with space, isn't it? See, uh, somewhere, uh, you know, every country wants to defend whatever they are good in and they don't want to give it away so easily. Uh, yes, there was a... See, uh, what happened... India never bought the oil from Russia before. Mm -hmm. Time changed, we got a good discount and we didn't like the opportunity. So Russians were also not ready to give away everything before. Now the time has changed, they are ready, so it's we Indians who will think about taking this opportunity. So now we have got more opportunity because they are more ready to support us. All right. So you believe that in near future, um, Russia will open up its doors for the private players of India, Indian space industry, to work with them? Definitely. Because uh, 
the workforce or the our new new generation of people who are coming where Russia lacks them they don't have too many of them so India will be the next player in the workforce there is no doubt that every big company in Europe has been run by the Indians so they also understand that tomorrow if they need a good uh, come with this man skilled labor so this is a country where they can rely on coming next to uh, this event sir you were addressing a very young crowd today how, how what has what is your take back with that see uh, um, it's an unusual crowd no no uh, see, i'm i'm a i'm a guardian for all the indian students back in russia so every uh, most of the children have my number and they know there's only one place they can call in case of god forbid any tuck mm -hmm. any any sort of problem they face so i'm there for them so i love to see the, our children there's a lot of difference. When I was a child, I was not that smart. But when I see this next new generation, it gives you so much of energy. And especially when I was talking to the science and technology guy from the Russian embassy, he said the children give me really tough questions. So right. you can understand how much we can expect in the future from these kids. It's true. They have a vast information coming from every sector to them. Their knowledge bank is expanding every minute. Every and here and in such kind of dialogues when you see them it is very promising yes so uh, sir your interaction with these students did you had a one to one interaction with them or um, how was it few of them came to me and they were asking me why why i said that uh, i had see i think we don't have a 100% uh, university on the space mm -hmm. so i was thinking about having a Space University, Moscow Aviation, uh, my Moscow Aviation Institute mm -hmm. is one of the oldest institute back in Russia. They were here, so I wanted to tell them to please collaborate so we can open an institute over here. And uh, they have sent the flag in uh, Moscow Aviation Institute has sent the flag to the moon. Right, that's nice. So it's not a small thing. So they have done. So I wanted to have that university coming over here. We don't have any any specified university for oil and gas mm -hmm. so you know the next thing is the oil and gas university so all these are in pipelines sir that you are planning to have these no, two universities was, here in india i was trying to understand what is missing so these are two things i felt this is missing mm -hmm. and we already spoke to moscow aviation people they've asked us to come back to them and uh, i also spoke to the Maharashtra so this will be in collaboration with the moscow aviation, aviation institute yes. okay that sounds great. So, any, any, anything? Uh, it's or it's just the thought or a dream just, that has come a, up. Just a, just a thought. Right, right. And uh, uh, Maharashtra said that please, if you have such thing in your mind, we are ready to give you space in Nagpur because there are too many aviation uh, mm -hmm. factories over here. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a really great thought, and uh, we really look forward to it because I'm sure next time when we talk, you will be with the whole blueprint ready with us. That mm -hmm. uh, this is the space university, Chitali, and this is the oil and gas university that uh, we are building up. Yes. That's really great, sir, and we would really uh, like to be uh, partners in any way you want us to get people know about these developments, these good developments that's happening to our country. I told him I'm a Russophil, I'm a friend of Russia, so I want to have all the students who have studied from Russia to come back on the same stage and we make both the countries proud. My last question sir, with the current situation of Russia-Ukraine war where India stands on a neutral platform that we are friends to both the countries, uh, how has been the relations of the business relations in the current uh, with the current scenario between India and Russia? See, today you have to be, it's, one thing is very clear, India is growing. The next superpower is India. Everybody knows it. Every businessman who is successful in Russia, if he wants to open a next international business, he's looking India as his first destiny. So destination is India. So there is good good advertisement going from the Mr. Modi and his team. They're doing a very good job and the right word is going out over there. So yes, all Russians are excited to come to India to work and to do business. At the same time, uh, they do big business from China, more than 200 billion, but they are not happy with it. Mm -hmm. They don't trust them. So when you talk about India, the trust is there, and with the Chinese, we have built that trust. Business. It's all about business. Yes.
Thank you so much, sir. It was such a pleasure talking to you. And uh, we really look forward to the new plans that you just disclosed here at ADU. We really look forward that we should be the first ones to know the blueprint as well. Sure. Thank you so much Thank for your you. time, sir. Thank and you all the best for your Thank ventures. You. Thank you.